All right, February 1st. Today is a Tuesday. Me and Corey decided to leave our traps out for the week. here now I checked our first foothold nothing was in it I'm walking down now to check our couple dog proofs we got over here and another foothold I've seen a lot of dead uh, possums raccoons and stuff on the side of the road so I figured they probably moved last night most of the snow's gone but the temperatures are up so we're gonna see if we didn't get lucky and catch one or two out today so real quick I just came up on a trap here that we've had success on. I don't know if you can see that trail that leads to it, but that marshmallow was pulled out. So I put it back through some cavings on top of it. Now I'm standing here and I can't see, we had a trap sitting right there and I don't see it. I can see the cable, but I can't see the trap. So let's walk over here and see if Corey moved it yesterday or if, nope. What I suspect. We got a nice boar coon hiding right there. I figured they moved last night, so that's good. Go ahead and get him dispatched. Just real quick, here's a set that I had real big faith in. It hasn't caught yet. But something has ran its paws across my marshmallows. I'm gonna say squirrel. Um, I'm right here on a small game trail that runs around through these rocks by this creek. I just knew this thing would catch, but this is the second week we've run a trap here. We ain't caught nothing yet. Squirrels found my marshmallow though, but I'm gonna put some cavings moonshine on top of it. Like I said earlier, the weather's supposed to be money the next couple days. And then we got a cold front moving in, so I'm gonna freshen this up. Corey's gonna run these tomorrow. Hopefully he's got a coon right here. Drainage that ran beside this fence here. We caught the possum in it, where we told while we kill possums, all that good stuff. But there was a bunch of raccoon tracks in it, so we wanted to set it. So we set it several times, knowing that it was only a matter of time All sprawled out, he looked like a giant. Not bad. But not what I was thinking when we first walked up. He's probably, he's probably 13, 14 pounds. He's already rubbed out though. That's the first one that we've shot this year that's rubbed out on their back. So, looks like stuff's getting busy. Super good day when you got two. Okay, me and Travis split up today. Uh, he ran traps that we had on one farm and I'm on this other farm. Uh, we both work third shift. He's gonna be at work a little bit different time than me. So just to make it easier on both of us, we decided to kind of conquer, divide and conquer. Um, we just walked up to the second spot we've been running traps at. Um, had a log right here behind me with a trap on it, kind of like in a drag format. And the log, golly, it sounds bad. The log been drugged down here below me. As you can see, looks like a nice big boar coon laid up in uh, this hollow log. That's where I spread my mineral lap for deer, is on top of that log. But he drug that log good ways, I guess till he got caught up, get him dispatched and uh, on to the next. Okay, so hopefully, where's that? As y'all can see, I got a little remake back here behind me. I got this one back up here, back on the uh, the old dead log. 
uh, drag style. <clears throat> it has substantially warmed up today. Um, I think when Travis checked traps, it was like 50 degrees or something like that. And it has now uh, come up to like almost 60 degrees. So with this big warm up, we're expecting these coons to uh, to move and hopefully uh, get all these traps freshened up and uh, eliminate some more target predator. All right, Wednesday, February the 2nd. I'm sitting here at our first spot that we're gonna check on our line today. Um, we had a pretty good day yesterday. We caught three. Um, we had a good warm up yesterday. The sun was out, it was a nice day. Um, that has since fell off, it's raining now and the temperatures have fallen a little bit. I think it's like 45 now, it was in the 50s yesterday. Um, so we decided last night we were gonna leave the traps out and get together today, run them. But apparently by the weather, the freeze isn't gonna come until afternoon tomorrow. It's gonna be in the mid 30s tomorrow afternoon so we're gonna probably leave them um i pulled up to this first spot i was actually just gonna jump out and pull these real quick while i was waiting on Corey. and when i jumped out and looked at them there's a raccoon in one of them so um success here we didn't have anything caught in this yesterday it looks like a smaller raccoon not a big one but i called him and we talked about it and i think we're just gonna leave them out we're just gonna go with sardines instead of cat food marshmallows so that they kind of hold up and with the temperature staying up just a little bit i don't think the rain's gonna bother them much um, we are here in february so it is kind of their breeding season so i think if we stay on these heavy trails and close to these den sites i think we'll, we can have some luck tonight before this freeze comes but we'll definitely pull them tomorrow because um, we got a good freeze coming especially our footholds we're gonna pull our footholds because we didn't have any wax dirt this year it's our first time so we've got them sitting in the ground with dry barn dirt but it's been raining for like seven hours now so that dirt is soaked and then when that freeze comes tomorrow, they're just gonna be froze rock solid. So it's always a good day when you pull up to your first trap and you've got something in it. So we've still got several other traps. Um, we were successful. I was able to kill two yesterday on the farm we're checking next and he was able to kill one on another farm we still got to check today. So to be honest, if we can, if we can kill one more coon, we've already got one here in this culvert. And if we can kill one more today, I'll be I'll be happy with that. That'll be five raccoons in two days. That's pretty good. Pretty good for us. So, as soon as he pulls up, we'll get out and show you what we got here. All right. February the 2nd. We left our traps out last night. We got about a 20 degree warm up yesterday. We sit on this spot because there's a lot of signs in here. We came through here last week, week before. We had one that we had caught, he had chewed his hand off. He was obviously a lot larger than this guy. Uh, he's young, but nevertheless, we got to catch here finally. So the creek's rising, we got a lot of rain coming today, so we're gonna go ahead and pull these traps. Um, I think we're good. We've decided to leave the other ones due to the fact it's supposed to stay decently warm tonight. So we're gonna get this guy dispatched, go ahead and pull these traps and get on finishing our line. As y'all can see, we have got another muddy, shocking wet coon. He's not happy. Um, this makes, I think, 10 or 11 coons off this farm. Um, I can remember back when I was younger, used to be loads of turkeys on this farm. And it seems like in the last four to five years, there's none. So I did some research and found that um, something we can do to try to help that, try to uh, remedy that, do our part, and eliminate these nest predators. So, here's one more gone. Hopefully, we got some more. Three yesterday. This is our third for today. Cameraman might want to back up. <laughs> He's been a good two days run. We got a little warm up here and this is what it is. So another nest predator. It's over for Number four for today. This is the third on this farm. It's been a great day. Probably one of our better days on trap find this season. You know what's about to happen to this guy. One more down. Pretty good week. Got seven in the last two days. So 
It's been good. We'll catch y'all on the next one.